My favorite is this black one. Following back surgery in 2012, a hobby turned into a career for Jeannie Hughes, the local fashion designer now creating statement pieces for big events. It looks on their faces just to be a part of that special day. Like prom, some sold online, others sold at special pop-up shops to offer a deal. A lot of people can't afford a $1,200, $1,300, $1,400 dress, so why not give them an the opportunity to look just as good in a $500 dress? Over the weekend, Hughes was at one of those sales events with fellow So Sister, Amani Williams. We have all of our dresses on racks, on mannequins, and they just shop around. The pop-up shop was held Sunday here in the east side of Milwaukee, and it was by the end of the event those designers realized something was missing. It was this $1,500 dress selling that day for $850. I just felt kind of hurt. I was more hurt than anything. Hughes recalling a specific moment with someone at the start of the event. She called me over to her and had me answer a bunch of, bunch of questions. And then she took off the dress and said, okay, thank you. And her and the group left. So, and that's when I, in retrospect, okay, I was being distracted for her friends to take the garment. Did you report this to police at all? No, I didn't. And why not? Because people make mistakes. Hughes says she forgives the thief. Instead, the local fashion designers using the unexpected attention to let customers know. If it's something that you really want, we can work something out. It's okay to ask for help. I would have done anything to get her into a dress. I've never turned anyone away. In Milwaukee, Hannah Hilliard, WYSN 12 News. That particular dress took Hughes about four hours to make. Both designers say the theft will not discourage them from hosting future pop-up shops.